Howdy everybody, hope you're having a good day. I wanted to make this quick video here and show you something that anyone can make to help reduce sediment that comes up from your well and also it helps to extend the life of your pump. Uh, this is only about five bucks, 10 bucks, anyone can make it. You just have to have a little bit of common sense. Now what I'm talking about here is a pump sleeve. Now, there are multiple different versions of this. Uh, some people use a solid piece of four inch and it's got slots in it and they would actually use a butt cap for the end of it and a four inch well seal. And it basically just makes the pump weigh, instead of you know it weighing 30 pounds, it'll make it weigh 60 pounds. So it just it, it's a whole lot more difficult to do with a, a screen style. Now there's also a benefit to this style versus the, the slotted screen style and I'll explain that to you here in a second. So we come on in here and basically I've got loads of different pumps. We've got 3 inch Grumpus and we've got 4 inch J-Class uh, with Franklin Motors on them. <clears throat> if you understand a well pump, you basically have your pump stack here. And if you can tell every indentation on this, those are an impeller. So this here would be a 16 stage impeller. There are 16 little propellers inside of here that basically get spun by a center shaft and it sends water up and out. Now the more stages you have in the pump, then the deeper the depth it can pump from or the higher volume that it can push. So in this instance, this is a seven gallon a minute pump that has 16 stages. It is made, manufactured by Red Jacket. They don't make these anymore. Red Jacket went out of business, but by far, Red Jacket was one of the best manufacturers of pumps that we ever ran into for years. So we ran them for over two decades. Now, <clears throat> the typical lifespan of a pump is anywhere from seven to 20 years. And it's basically how hard it has to work will depend on its life. So a typical half horsepower at 100 foot will last anywhere from, say, 14 to 18 years. If you put a three-quarter horsepower at 300 foot, the average lifespan is 10 to 12 years. If you put this 16-stage three-quarter horsepower down at 400 feet, its typical lifestyle or its typical lifespan is seven to eight years. Now, something interesting that I just came across the other day was we pulled this pump out. This pump was 18 years old and it was still running. Running beautifully, didn't have a problem. The homeowner just had some money and he just decided, hey, my pump is almost 20 years old. I wanna go ahead and replace it because I don't want it to be Christmas and then you know a 20 year old pump die. So I explained to him, we'll go ahead and do that while we were doing other procedures to the well and it wouldn't cost him any extra, just the price of the pump. So when we pulled it out, we were amazed to see that it was still the original 20 year old pump. <clears throat> now, how or why did this pump live any longer? The reason why we had to pull his pump out was because we had to hydraulically fracture as well. So his well would run dry. So it's not like this pump didn't see a really, really hard service life. What really kills a pump is heat. Now, even though your well pump is down in 50 degree water, when a pump runs and runs and runs, this motor down here gets really, really hot. If you think about a well, the water is slowly coming down from the top and then it's entering right here at the intake grate of the pump and then it sends it back up to the house. So the water down here is kind of always sitting stagnant and that is the, the, you know, the zone that water is supposed to keep the motor cool. Now, if you take this pump sleeve here, and I'm going to show you in a second how we install it. You're going to take this, you're going to flare all these out. And you end up with something like this, okay? Now we're going to take it and we're going to slide our pump down into the inside of it. Now we're going to stop right there at the neck. And then we're going to take all these pieces here and we're going to mold them over the pipe. And we're going to take our black electrical tape and we're going to wind it around this.
and we're gonna pull it tight pull it all the way up now what we're gonna do we're gonna take our tape and we're gonna tape it all the way around it going up to the pipe a little that way it'll keep it from pulling down and then we're gonna cover all these slits with our tape just like so that way we don't want any water going in any of these slits okay and it looks just like that so that is basically installed I'd do a little bit better job if we were on site but I'll show you the reason why so now that the pump is inside the pump sleeve where does the water enter the only place for the water to enter is down here below so basically when your water and your grit and any sediment in your well as it's falling the sediment is going to pass right on by the intake and the water is going to make a turn and come back up through and go to the intake of the pump now all of the water instead of going straight into the center of the intake it's forcing all that cold water to run by the motor and keep it cool so that is why you get an in extended lifetime out of a pump that's inside of a pump sleeve like this because it's constantly keeping it way cooler than without running one so basically with a pump sleeve you see a reduction in the amount of sediment that would be uh, introduced to your filter system or introduced to your house uh, that you typically would see without running a pump sleeve now I'm gonna say 90% of jobs uh, four inch pumps inside six inch wells you're not gonna see a pump sleeve used now there are multiple variations of wells um, in our area our geographical location we have what we call granite wells so our well is strictly in granite soil other areas that are coastal regions that have screened wells um, they don't have uh, wells that are drilled in rock they don't you know um, their PVC casing that they use is slotted uh, from the top of the of the ground all the way to the bottom of the well so there's just different variations and not all um, are applicable for this style situation but now if you're looking to DIY your own it's fairly simple um, you take this guide here and you basically replicate it uh, this pipe here is roughly three and a half to four feet long and you can make it out of any thin wall pipe you have if you notice this is not regular four inch pipe this is really really thin stuff and I'll show you exactly where we get it from so when we order our wholesale pipe and we get large quantities of it they send us our pipe shipped inside of these little carrier tubes and we basically just measure it and cut it up and slice it up and we make our pump sleeves out of it if you come over here you'll see multiple that we already have pre-made sitting ready to go in the box i'm not really inclined to sell these but if you're in need and you want one go ahead drop a comment below and i'll reach out to you and maybe we can work out a deal or i'll show you another pipe that you can also make this out of that you can easily access yourself from Lowe's. Now most people know what this style pipe is. This is basically your gutter drain pipe. Now although this is 6 inch, if you go to Lowe's they sell this exact pipe in 4 inch and instead of buying a giant roll like this you can buy it in 8 foot or 10 foot sticks and you only need 3.5 to 4 feet of it so you might as well buy a 10 foot stick. Uh, don't buy the stuff that has the slots in it. That way you can take that piece, cut it to the desired length. You only need it about six to eight inches longer than the length of the pump. And then you cut your slits down this. It would be multiple one inch slits. And then you mold it around the head of the pump, just like I showed you in the beginning of the video. Well, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you found it informative. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'm on my journey to reach 100,000 subscribers, and I know I'm really, really far away from that. But, hey, there's not any other well drillers or pump installers uh, on YouTube doing the type of material that I'm doing. So, I'm kind of in my own little niche market here. So, uh, if you found it informative, 
please hit that subscribe button. Give me a follow. I'm trying to reach 100,000. Thank you all for watching. If you have any other questions or anything like that, all my comments are live. And I have dozens of other videos, all well-related. Tanks, pumps, filters, uh, filtration, water softeners, whatever. Um, what is it? Yard hydrant installs. There's dozens of videos on my channel. Just find the well Q&A playlist and enjoy watching. Thank you all.